After an inquiry was initiated against the Jammu and Kashmir IAS officer Shah Faisal for alleged violation of the IAS service rules over his recent controversial tweet, the former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah has also reacted. He in fact has lashed out at the centre saying that a sarcastic tweet is not the same as being corrupt. Shah Faisal, who was associated with the Jammu and Kashmir Power Development Council, has landed himself in a big controversy following his tweet, uh, wherein he used the word Rapistan that has not gone down too well with the government. So a reaction coming in from Omar Abdullah uh, over this tweet that has uh, invited a lot of wrath on social media. He is in fact the IAS officer from Jammu and Kashmir who did really well in the civil services exam and now finding himself in the midst of this massive controversy. Shuja ul -Haq is with us, Shuja. And the IS officer's tweet has drawn some very sharp reactions, uh, not just from many in the government, but otherwise as well. But the former chief minister coming to his rescue and defense. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, ever since uh, yesterday when uh, Shah Faisal, who is a Kashmiri IAS topper, uh, he is from uh, the 2009 batch, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he tweeted yesterday uh, and uh, said that uh, he was, uh, he, he, there is a departmental inquiry against him. The government of India has ordered uh, uh, the JNK government to initiate uh, action against uh, Shah Faisal for his uh, tweets. He also posted the copy of that tweet uh, where he had, uh, in a sarcastic manner, uh, uh, you know, criticized the rape culture, uh, you know, that was prevalent. And he says that this was a comment towards the rape culture in, uh, you know, South Asia. Uh, he also, uh, in the same tweet, uh, had said that, uh, you know, uh, these uh, service rules are being uh, uh, implemented in this day and age uh, and said that they are colonial in nature and, uh, uh, you know, uh, stop people like him uh, from expressing uh, their conscience openly. Uh, he has been, I would say, after that he has been quoted by many people who have spoken to him, suggesting that he is not going to take it lying down, he is willing to take it forward, not uh, uh, sort of accept. Uh, the, the order that has been given out by uh, but the was it in of violation of the order given by the government uh, I mean the central government had uh, have asked bureaucrats uh, not to write against the government on social media but why has it been assumed that that tweet was anti-government or anti-establishment well, that's an important question, Avandika, and that's something that a lot of people are asking, uh, you know, uh, the government to clarify. Because in the order that Shah Faisal uh, tweeted, uh, in which, uh, he, you know, the departmental inquiry against him is mentioned, also accused, uh, accuses him of, uh, you know, uh, uh, being dishonest uh, uh, while quoting the same tweet. So he is himself saying this, the same thing, that how can he be dishonest while writing a tweet which is essentially, by, you know, according to him, a sarcastic comment on the rape culture uh, you know he has also been quoted as saying that uh, criticizing rape cannot fall uh, into uh, the realm of service rules you know there definitely are service rules there it is uh, in the rule book but whether they, those are uh, you know uh, they, they directly implement can be directly implemented in a case like this where an I IAS officer is criticizing the rape culture is something that the government will have to answer but for now it has definitely created a controversy yes. with huge furor over the internet and social media. Oh, absolutely. It has drawn a very sharp uh, criticism and sharp reaction from uh, a lot of people in the country on social media. We're going to leave it at that, Shuja. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.